Hey everybody, welcome back to our channel. So today I'm coming in with some hurricane preparedness tips, hurricane safety tips, so to speak. I've been meaning to do this video, but I still haven't pulled my stuff out yet. So I'm just going to show you some things that you need to have or that you should have in the event of hurricane season. Now, don't wait until hurricane season comes to get prepared. Start doing it sooner. It's, it's, on, it's upon us, so go ahead and get ready. One of the first things you want to get stock up on is water. Don't wait till they start price gouging the water to get water. Every week, somebody's grocery store has water on sale. Start early, put some to the side, tell your kids, don't touch it. And another thing you want to think about is when one hurricane leaves, don't just start drinking the water and all your, eating up all your supplies. Keep all those supplies until hurricane season is over. And while you're stocking up on your water, get non-perishable foods, things that don't have to be refrigerated. Another thing is you want to make sure you have all the medications you need for you and your family. Call your doctor and have him go ahead and call the pharmacy. Even if you don't pick them up till after the hurricane, it's better to have them filled before the hurricane than to try to have them filled after the hurricane. That way, after, all you got to go do is pick them up. Okay, these steps are in no particular order, by the way. So... The, day, the night before the storm, after everyone's taking a bath and whatnot, go ahead and fill up one of your tubs, bathtubs, clean it out, fill it up with some water. And make sure it, the plunger, the plug is secure. You may need it to help fl um, flush the toilet. So keep a bucket in there so you can flush the toilets. Now, if you already have coolers, you're good. If you don't, these are some options as well. You can, I use the darker ones because they're a little thicker, um, but you use what you can find. These are double great as coolers. And another thing you can do is take one, put about two days worth of clothes for everybody, put them in there, tape it up really well, and put it somewhere, put it in a closet or even in the trunk of your car. If your car is in the garage, put it in the trunk of your car and make sure you know how to let the garage door up manually before the storm hits. And I know this sounds like a bit much, but also go to the ATM and get some money out beforehand. You don't have to do that after. You can freeze just some bottles of water so that you, in case you're not able to get as much ice as you need, freeze some bottles of water and use them as ice to keep everything else cool. I usually take one and I put the milk in there with some ice and stuff so that keeps that warm, keeps that cool, excuse me. These are just a suggestion, battery operated fans. When those lights go out over in the middle of the night and it's pouring down raining outside and the wind is blowing a hundred and some miles per hour, there's no opening any windows. Um, trust and believe these can cost these can cost anywhere from twelve to maybe fifteen dollars a piece. Go ahead and get them early before they run out and before they start jacking the prices up. This could save your marriage. This could save you from killing your husband and your wife because they're talking too much and it's hot and they're getting on your nerves. These are probably, these are different types of battery operated lanterns. Um, these are on Amazon. You can find them Home Depot anywhere. These are probably some of the best purchases you can make for hurricane season because you take those batteries out after hurricane season is over and you're good to go. Um, I mean, candles are dangerous. And I know y'all are thinking, well, I use them all the time. All it takes is one time for somebody to knock one over and your house is on fire in the middle of a hurricane. I mean, there's, I mean, there's plenty of water to put the fire out, but where y'all going to go in the middle of a hurricane? And the fire department ain't coming out there. So, I mean, I'm just saying. Now, let's say you lose power and you can't, you got food in the kitchen and you want to cook for a couple of days. If you have these, you can cook. All you got to do is get a few of these and buy the gas. Don't forget to buy the gas or you ain't going to be cooking anything. Trust and believe. They ain't going to work without the gas. Paper products are also important. I know y'all want to save the environment and all that, but during a hurricane, when you can't wash dishes, the last thing you want to do after a couple of days of having no lights is look over 
and there's a sink full of dishes. Get you some um, paper products, paper towels, paper plates, cups, um, or get you all, yeah, get you all a cup that you can reuse, whatever. But paper plates and paper towels are essential. The important one, this is probably one of the top important ones, is fill your tank up. Start filling your tank up like a week before. Make sure both your, if you got more than one vehicle, make sure they're filled with gas. The last thing you want to do is wait till after the storm or right before the storm and they run out of gas. It happens. Trust, them, trust me, I know. This is something that we should all have anyway. This is important. They're not that expensive. A fireproof, waterproof security chest. It doesn't have to be a safe. It can be like this to have all your social security cards and things in there. Um, your passport, your birth certificates. In the event that things go left, you know, these hurricanes are no joke. And you want to be ahead of the game. You want to be prepared. So make sure you think about that leading into hurricane season. Hurricanes are going in places that they're not normally known to go. Tropical storms are also. So make sure you're prepared. So the reason why I'm doing this is because I grew up in South Florida and I've been through enough hurricanes that I know it's, it's expensive. But once you buy certain things... You keep them for the entire hurricane season. In 2004, within a, six, within a six week period, we had four severe hurricanes. And it was a long six weeks. I was pregnant with Jordan. It was a long six weeks, but we had everything we needed. And the weather was good after, it wasn't hot. But just make sure you stay on top of things. When you buy this stuff, don't let your kids eat it. Put it to the side and tell them not to eat it. Even if you got to lock it up, just don't. You, you'll have it the entire hurricane season. It's not if it's non it's non perishable. It's not gonna go bad. One more thing I want to say is for your deep freezers and everything, the night before or the day before, turn those up as high as they can go, so that during hurricane during the hurricane and whatnot, it's at its capacity and it is cold as it can be. And don't let your children go in and out of it so that everything stays cold in case you lose power. Those That stuff will stay frozen in there a couple of days as long as it's not being opened over and over and left open. So remember that. Um, Y'all, I know this stuff costs money. I know that. But just know that it costs money, but for those of you who live in a hurricane, um, play in places where hurricanes go every year. This is stuff that we should have anyway. All my stuff I had from Florida, I brought with me. Um, I lived in Florida all my life, and a lot of y'all have. Some of y'all have lived in places where there's hurricanes all your life as well. And there's just really no excuse to not be prepared. There's no excuse to not have things you need. We we talk about money and this and that. We we figure out a way to buy other stuff. This is your children's life. This is, you can't stop the hurricane, but there's ways to make them more bearable and, and be more and be more safe. And if they tell you to evacuate, evacuate. Don't wait till the last minute because if you wait till the last minute, it's going to be too late. And also by the time you say, uh oh, it's probably already too late. So be safe, be smart, and don't wait till the last minute.